So let me just explain something. And you'll have probably heard me talk about this over the last few weeks and that. You need to stop trying to switch careers and switch jobs. Obviously, I've spoken about this before. There's men that I've met in college. They're doing carpentry. They're doing accounting. They go and do sports science. They realise they don't want to be a PE teacher. Then they go and try and do electrical and then they end up dropping out of that. Then they go and get a job working at BT, Sky, Auto Glass, Virgin Media. They can't stick to one thing. I've also spoken to a guy on TikTok and he was talking about he's working in finance, earning an okay wage, he's PAYE, earning about 40 grand a year or something like that, talking about how he wants to become an electrician because he's bored of his career. Blood, you have not got three years to waste going to train to then go and earn the same amount of money as a PAYE electrician. Like, if he was earning 40 grand as a PAYE finance man, and then he could go and train for three years to become an electrician to earn 80, then I'll say, okay, yeah, it might be worth the three years in that. But there's no way you can come to me and tell me that you're earning 40k as a finance man, and then you're going to go and want to train for three years to become an electrician to earn 40k. What's the flipping point? You're in finance, you need to work your way up the ladder, become a manager become a self-employed manager, whatever in it, yeah? You need to work your way up the ladder and you definitely need to be working your way up the pay scale as well. That's why I always preach and tell you, look, become a self-employed person so that you can go from the 180s a day to the 260s, 270s, 300, whatever in it. I know a man who's got a business degree and people always shit on business degrees and that. A man's earning 500 pound a day. Self-employed, obviously, contractor. But he's earning 500 pound a day. When you're on 500 pound a day, that's 100 grand a year, Mark. So anyway, like I said, man needs to just be trying to move up all the time. Stops trying to switch careers. So I just got um, a TikTok direct message DM. And the guy must have just recently saw a video that I dropped earlier today where I was talking about working on construction sites or something like that. And the guy said that he was a labourer on a construction site. Then he got his triple STS, which means you're like a site safety supervisor. I did that. I think my thing's expired because I think it only lasts for three years. I did that. And then what he wants to do is he wants to do his level three, sorry, level six site manager course, whatever. In the DM, obviously he said, so he's, he was a laborer. Then he became a supervisor. Now he wants to be a site manager. So you can see the progression. He's gone from one level to the next to another, yeah? He was asking me, ah, oh, do you think that's the right path I should go down or do you think I should become an electrician? I told him, continue, stick to what you're doing. Yeah, some people say, oh no, I'll become a tradesperson and that. Blood, the theme is you just need to try and work a job, get a career where you can get paid some good money so that you can save enough money to make investments. You don't need to stop seeing your career or your profession as that's going to be you to the day you fucking die. That's why these people want to keep switching careers and that. And when you try to switch careers and try and find the perfect job, you are setting yourself up to just be an employee for the rest of your life. I don't try and find the perfect job. Obviously, I try to find a job that's convenient for me and you want to work a job where you feel motivated to go into work and that. But... I don't try and find the perfect job because I know in my head I'm not going to be an employee. I'm not going to be a worker for the rest of my life. So if you're in a career that has progress, you know, there's opportunities to progress. If you're working at Asda, I mean, are there some people that have worked on the shop floor for Sainsbury's and now become one of the top level managers, possibly director in the history of the world that may have happened? Well, what's the chance of that? Yeah, there's only a certain amount of roles, um, certain amount of people that can become directors and that. So you just need to work a job, find a job, find a career where there's opportunities to keep growing and elevating and that and just keep going up the ladder. Keep going, keep increasing your pay, your paycheck as well. It depends. 
obviously I don't need to increase my paycheck. I get paid more than enough. I'm able to use that money to invest in property. I've got money coming in from my properties anyway, anyway. So for me being on 360 a day or 300 to 380, 400 pound a day, that's good enough for me. I live frugal on that. But you just need to just try and keep going up the ladder. Stop all of this. Because when men are trying to go from working in finance to being an electrician and that, you're moving sideways. You need to go from working finance to being a financial manager, self-employed, whatever in it, yeah? That's the sort of way you need to go. You can't be trying to look to change careers and that. You're just wasting your time. So, and like I say in my videos as well, a lot of people are in the same situation, but some people's situations are very different than that. So I give people advice accordingly. I've had man hit me up. I'm not some idiot that's just going to keep telling people, oh, get an apprenticeship in electrical installation, get an apprenticeship in electrical installation. Not everyone is built to be an electrician. And for some people, the situation, the scenario they're in right now, it's not going to be appropriate for them to try and become an electrician right now. I had a guy hit me up telling me about his mum kicked him out and he's working at Tesco's and that. I'm not going to tell him to be a fucking electrician. Oh, blood. I don't know what his living situation is right now, but he said he's been kicked out or whatever. Blood, I told him, you need to work as much hours as you can, work overtime, work on the weekends. I'm not going to tell him, oh, just get an apprenticeship and that. Come on, man. So everyone's situation is, is very similar, but it's also different. I've had people hit me up asking me, oh, should I buy a property? Sorry, should I buy my own house or should I buy a buy to let property? And I asked them, where are you living at the moment? What's your living situation? I'm living with my mum and my dad. You got a good living situation, good relationship with your mum and dad? Yeah. All right, cool. Get yourself a buy to let. Stay at your mum's house as long as possible. If some that same person that came to me and said, what should I do? Should I buy my own house or buy a buy to let property? I asked them, what's your living situation? If they'd said to me, I'm paying rent to some landlord or I'm living in a council house, paying rent out of my own pocket. Same, for, same with a housing association. I'll say, go and buy your own house. Just depends on the situation. I'll give people good advice accordingly. So what my man's doing, the labourer, then obviously becoming a site supervisor, a site manager and that. Just do that. Just do that. Obviously, if a man come fresh out of school and he's 16, 17 years old, yeah, cool. Go and become an electrician or an accountant or whatever in it. Yeah, go to university in that. But I'm assuming this person is of age. 25 over and that blood you ain't got time you've got time but you don't want to be wasting time going to college for three years and that yeah if you're already in something and you already started climbing that ladder just do that just do that obviously a man's you can't go wrong with getting a trade and that but i'm not just gonna tell everyone ah oh, just get an apprenticeship get an apprenticeship be an electrician and that so if you're in something now and you can see progression in it just keep trying to climb that ladder in it Keep trying to increase your pay, man. Anyway, man, that's it, man.